everyone and welcome to another episode of Rural Recommends. I'm Kendra, a librarian at the Cowichan Lake Branch and I'll be talking about the mystery series by Fred Vargas. Fred Vargas is a French writer and I encourage you if you feel like you run the gamut of English cozy mystery writers to check out writers and popular mystery series in other countries and find out if they've been translated into the English as Fred Vargas's books have. Uh, so Fred Vargas writes uh, three different series. Uh, the, the longest series is the Commissaire Adamsberg series. Um, Fred Vargas is actually a uh, pen name of Frederic Audouin Rousseau. Uh, it's excruciating to wait a year or two each time for the English translation of her books, but I'll be talking about a couple of them today. Her books are excellent for two main reasons, the wonderful characters and the history that she infuses into each story. Vargas is a medieval historian and an archaeology scholar, so you learn the most interesting things about the people, places, and history of the different regions in France. I have recently reread the seventh book in her series of nine books featuring Commissaire Adamsberg, The Ghost Riders of Ordebec. It's one of my favorites. We learn about the Calvados region of Normandy in France. For instance, some of the really interesting things you learn about is that Calvados, which is similar to a brandy, was first created here, and like Champagne, only brandy from this region can be called Calvados and is consumed by the people of the region at most meals. We also learn that the people of this region of Normandy are somewhat superstitious and that they are, quote, a taciturn people, as if saying a few words were the equivalent of giving away a gold sovereign without feeling it was deserved. This is a good example of the wonderful language that Fred Vargas uses. Uh, funny and interesting. Um, what else do we learn? In the Ghost Riders of Ordebec, we also learn that one of the superstitions commonly held by the people of the region is the belief in ghost riders. Uh, these really do feature widely in Northern European medieval folklore. And ghost riders are said to be souls of the dead who hunt for souls of the living who have committed sins. Seeing one of these ghost riders can mean death for the witness or the forewarning of a death or tragedy to come. Vargas's latest book in this Commissaire Adamsberg series is This Poison Shall Remain. The French title translates more directly to when the recluse comes out. And in this, in this story, the reader is again introduced to some fascinating history. Uh, the history of the religious recluse, who were often women and who were literally walled up for life in a cell beside a church, uh, supposedly of their own accord, but probably most often to exclude them from society for some reason or another. All of this fascinating history aside, the second strength of Vargas's series is her characters. Commissar Adamsberg, the he hero, has, quote, a shocking air of inattention and indifference. His second in command, Danglard, which is my favorite, and this is uh, Commissar Adamsberg describing him to his son in the book, quote, Danglard knows everything that doesn't look useful at first sight. All the libraries in the world have found their way inside Danglard's head and there's still plenty of room. It is something colossal and unprecedented. Another of Adamsberg's colleagues is a lieutenant who is obsessed with marine zoology and who is often distracted from his duties because of his interest. Another suffers narcolepsy, falling asleep all day long and often shielded in interesting ways from upper management. The characters are instantly lovable, hilarious, and in every way charming. Like most mystery series, they don't need to be read in order, but the personal lives do follow somewhat of a timeline. I highly encourage you to discover this series if you haven't already. The first in the series is called The Chalk Circle Man, and we have it available at Vancouver Island Regional Library in print and through our website as an ebook on the Overdrive and Libby app. Enjoy. Bye for now. Stay tuned monthly for our Rural Recommend Book Talks.